Hello, this is Jackie from Deaching Engineer Team. Deaching is world's first decentralized big data and machine learning network powered by blockchain, aiming to build a stable and a heterogeneous solution for distributed data storage computation. On June, we launched our minimum viable product. After three months' hard work, we are now thrilled to announce the release of Deaching Testnet Beta and this mountain. The key features in this release are support for three types of transactions, implementation of FI contract, performance optimization for large-scale P2P network, and release of DX Explorer. First, let's talk about transactions. The Deaching Testnet supports three types of transactions. User can act as a miner, mining blocks to get block reward. They can send tokens to another user to make a token transfer, or act as a client or a host, forming FI contracts to use or provide FI star service. Block rewards, token transfer, and FI contracts are encoded into a block and be added to D chain. Once the block is consensed by the whole network, all the records are immutable because of the reversibility of blockchain. Then let's talk about the FI contract. FI contract is a key breakthrough of the testnet. When a client decides to upload a file, they will start with looking for multiple hosts. The file to be uploaded will be encrypted and spreaded across these hosts with a certain level of redundancy. The client will sign contracts with hosts, one contract for each. Let's take a closer look at how these contracts work. To form a contract, both the client and the host will deposit some token into the fund of the file contract. When the client uploads or downloads any file to the host, the fund distribution will be recalculated. After the file contract is executed successfully, the fund in the contract will be dispersed accordingly. Storage proof algorithm is implemented to ensure the data security. Host will broadcast the storage proof to the whole network periodically, and every node on chain is able to verify the proof without any knowledge about the raw data. After consensus by the whole network, the storage proof will be added to D-chain. The proof is highly efficient, both in time and space. If one of the hosts is down, the raw data could still be recovered and downloaded by the client using the erasure code. At the same time, the file contract will automatically find another available host to store the data. This recovery mechanism will greatly improve the stability and reliability of the storage on chain. P2P network. We focus on the stability and the scalability of the P2P infrastructure. Now the DeChain testnet starts with 32 nodes all over the world keeping high performance at the same time. The number of nodes will be increased to 1024 in the near future. All the debugging info, including logs, CPU utilization, memory usage, are capped for future performance tuning. D-Chain Explorer To get a clearer visualization of our testnet, we developed and released the Explorer you can view detailed information of each block and the transactions in DX Explorer. I will show you how to use it later. Next, let me show you how to go through all the basic features of DChain, including start the DChain daemon, mining blocks, making a transaction, and executing a file contract. So, let's get started. This is the binary file GDX, show for GoDChain. This is the only file that we need to run Dichon Daemon and perform user actions. Executing the file with H flag, we are able to see a bunch of commands available. This will give you the first taste of what this single file can do. We will cover all these commands later. First of all, we shall run Daemon which will handle all traffic from on the nodes and get fully synchronized with Dchain. We run gdx init to initialize the program. This command will create a config file named genesis.json. This JSON file is loaded as a basic configuration every time gdx is executed. 
Inside the file, we can see a bunch of settings available. This file is generated automatically, so no any other modifications is needed. After initialization, the next step is to type gdx. Now, the demo has started correctly. We can run another command to see how well our machine is connected to dchain. So open another terminal, type in gdx p2p list. This will give you a list of peers that our machine is currently connected to. Run this command again. We can see that the number of peers is growing and gdx status. It will show you the latest synchronization status. You can see it's not fully synchronized right now. So let's wait for a few seconds to see. Now our machine has been fully synced with the chain with height 4663. The height is still growing at a rate of 1 minute per block. Next, let's you start mining. But we have to do one thing before mining. We need to set up our wallet. We will never want to put the money reward to somewhere that we can never retrieve. To initialize the wallet, just use gdx wallet init. The list of keywords here serves as a private key of my wallet. Use gdx wallet to view the current status. Not surprisingly, our wallet has zero balance right now. Now, let's try to get some dx through mining. So, gdx miner start as shown the cpu miner starts working once a block is mined a balance should be added to my wallet so at that time use gdx wallet command again to check the wallet status let's wait for a few seconds for the miner to mine a block and give us the first pot of gold fortunately we didn't wait much time before we mined the block notice in the last line H is the smallest unit of DX currency, hump. One hump is 10 to the power minus 24 DX. So here in my account, there is quite a bit DX. And I really want to tell my best friend it's good news. What about sending him some token? So I type in GDX, send, say I will send him 10,000 tokens. And this is his address. Check the wallet right now. We are able to see the 10,000 DX is on the fly. After a few seconds delay, the 10,000 DX has been sent to my friend. And we notice that there are some extra tokens spent. These small amounts of tokens are used for minor fees, which are automatically calculated and spent for this transaction. Lastly, I want to try uploading and downloading files through file contract. So here, I have got a large file of size 100 megabytes that I want to store on chain. To do uploading, I have to do three steps. First, I will check available hosts using gdx client hosts. There are plenty of them online available. Second step, form the file contract. Type in gdx client form contract. Here it goes. And use gdx client contracts. Now I am able to see that I have signed three contracts with three hosts. Having contract in my hand, I could finally upload my file. So gdx client upload. I would upload my test file as test file. Okay. It will take a little time to upload the files. After the file being uploaded, Use gdx client contracts. To check the contracts again, we can see the total size we uploaded and the contract funds are spent for uploading. Because of the existence of erasure code and storage proof algorithms I mentioned before, I really don't worry about whether these hosts have kept my file safe. The file contract itself will take care of all my worries. As long as the funds in the contract pays for the downloading fees, I am able to download the file anytime I want. So here, let's download it. gdx client download. I will download my test file as download files. After finish downloading, let's compare the hashes of the two files. 
you shall see that there is no difference, meaning that the file upload is identical to the file I downloaded. Lastly, let me show you how to use the DChain Explorer. You can access the DChain Explorer through 3dev.dchain.com, which is our official website, and then click on the test that button. This is our explorer where you can browse everything in our testnet. In the world map, you can see where our nodes locate spreading all over the world. Next is the testnet summary. You can also view block messages clicking on a block, view the list of transactions, and transaction details. So here it is, all for DChain testnet beta and its mounters. As promised on the roadmap, we will release our testnet, codename Alps Mountains, in the next phase. If you want to learn more about DChain, use the following links to keep updated with our latest news. Thank you for watching.